they are. <laughs> His legs are crossed. Daddy loves you too, little man. Even though you're so little, you're such a big part of me. Yeah, big, big part of me. Huge. Even when I'm sleeping. I don't think we've ever taken your brothers over multiple times to drop them off at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Somebody's house just so we could come see you, buddy. Yeah, we love to come see you. We do. Are you trying to smile? We trying to give daddy the grins, huh? It's like, yeah, dad, I'd love to, but the sleeping medicine they got me on. Me out. Sleep is good for you. Yes. If Daddy could sleep as much as you, I would. I would too. Take it in while you can. Yeah, because as soon as you come home, you have three brothers who are going to scream and yell and be loud and obnoxious. Things like pushing up on his eye. And one of Daddy's friends made a website for you today. Yeah, there's nice people out there that want to help us. They like to watch the videos of you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you moving your hands for daddy. You need to start doing better, buddy. No more platelet issues, okay? Yeah. Daddy was so excited when I came in and your oxygen was so low. Your settings were so low and they had to turn them back up. Seems like there's lots of babies here now, huh? Yeah, lots of other babies here. Well, I asked Jesus to watch over all of you. Because you guys are all precious. Sure does. You are. Daddy 
he's got some more pictures. I think I got 14 new ones today to put up there on your wall. Yeah. 14 new pictures. And I'm going to have to go find pictures of Grammy D and Papa Bob, too. to watch her. So I took your brothers to buffet today and I tried to tell a fib about your oldest brother's age because he looks like he's like eight or nine. So I tried to pass him off. Brandon Jr., he wasn't having that, Rocky. No. He ratted me out. <laughs> and he argued with me all the way to the table. Yeah. Them silly big brothers of yours, huh? Silly daddy, too, huh? And last night when we came up here, Isaiah decided that he wanted to try to be his own doctor. And he put a paintbrush in his ear. Yeah. And then he blamed Beamer for it. You can't be blaming nobody for anything when you get bigger. That's one thing we never hear from this guy. Any crying. I know we will. Yeah. Give everybody a little rundown of the room again. Now that we have more light, that we can see those pictures better. The phone's trying to adjust. <laughs> 